Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to Cornerstone Charts. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode, we are going to take a 50,000 foot view of Cornerstone Charts, talk about how to use it and where to get started. So CS Charts is an incredibly powerful tool and the more you play with it, the more you'll realize that this unlocks a whole new world of power for your website building processes. From simple loopers like the total number of posts in your database to third party plugin data that they're storing in meta fields that you can access via dynamic content all the way to custom external data loopers that pipe data from elsewhere into your site that you can visualize. So without further ado, let's dive in. With Cornerstone Charts installed and activated on our site, we are going to jump up to our Elements pane here and type in Chart. And right away, you'll notice that we have six different chart types to choose from here. We're going to go ahead and select a bar chart and drag that directly into our workspace. And right away, you'll notice it begins populating with some demo data and demo labels. Now, the first thing I'm going to do just to get everything in view for you guys in the video here is change our aspect ratio to 300 so that you guys can kind of see all of the changes taking place. Now, one of the first things to note with charts is that all charts are made up of label sets and data sets. In this case, our labels are along the X axis for our bar chart here, and then our data is populated within the chart. You can actually have multiple data sets within a chart as well. So here we've added another one and you'll immediately notice that the charts intelligently recognize that second data set and those can actually be filtered and excluded by simply clicking through on the legend. But let's go ahead and start with our labels. First things first, we need to determine what kind of chart we're trying to build here. Let's say that we are listing out the seasons of the year summer, fall, winter, and spring. And then we want to know how many people like or dislike those seasons. So our seasons are going to be our label. So label one is going to be summer. Label two is going to be fall. Label three is going to be winter. And label four is going to be spring. Now you'll notice each one of these labels, I'm typing in a fixed value, but you have full access to dynamic data as well as making this a consumer to consume off of one of your looper providers. So with our labels set and ready to go, we can jump back up to our bar chart here and go into our first data set. Now this data set is going to be how many people like each of these seasons. So we'll label this data like. And immediately you'll notice that updates up here as well. Each piece of data is going to correspond with its label set. And in fact, you can rearrange label sets by simply dragging and dropping, and they will be associated with whatever the data is in that order as well. So within our first data set here, let's just go ahead and add some arbitrary numbers. We'll say 100 and we'll give this a color. And then we'll say 200 and we'll give this a color, we'll say 300, and give this a color. And then we need a fourth one for spring, so we'll just add one in there, and we'll say 400 people like spring. We'll add this in there. And immediately we have our data being populated. Let's jump back to our second data set here, and we'll call this one dislike. And we'll do the same thing. And there we have it. Now let's jump back up a level again. We'll go to our general tab here within our bar chart and we'll scroll down. Now we're not going to get into a whole lot of design. You're going to notice a lot of similarities to the design controls throughout Cornerstone. Obviously a lot of these are tailored though, specific to charts. So it's worth looking through these, exploring what they do, what they change, and how you can get a modern design and look that you are going for with your charts. All of the charts are going to have slightly different controls based on how that chart is laid out. In this case, our bar chart can go across the X axis like it is now, or it can be a Y axis chart like this here. Going a step further, we can jump into our second tab here for tooltips and we can enable or disable those tooltips. If we have them enabled, we have our design controls for padding and color and font size and font weights within those tooltips, whether we wanna have the color blocks shown with them or whether we wanna hide those color blocks and simply show the text. So all of that you'll have control over as well. Then we can come into our effects 
And this is where we have our animation controls. So you can determine how long this is supposed to animate on open. Let's say we wanted this to actually animate out for three seconds, something like that. You'll notice how long it's taking to animate out. And depending on what you were going for with your design and your style here, you could also set this to loop and maybe we just have a 100 delay in between. So you'll notice this animates out, has a short pause with that delay, and then animates back out again. We'll go ahead and turn that loop off. And then finally, we have our customized tab and everything in here will look super familiar to you guys. This is where we have our standard ID, classes, element conditions, so on and so forth. Cornerstone Charts really opens up a whole new frontier for us here on WordPress and the native controls and deep integration with the Cornerstone Builder makes it incredibly intuitive to build, configure, and design your charts all in one interface. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building!